What is going on YouTube? I am Prepper Princess, the author of Living on Almost Nothing. If you are interested in purchasing my book, I will go ahead and leave a link down in the description box below. Typically on an e-trike review, I immediately get started with the statistics and the writing of the e-bike and uh, whatever it is about a bike that, that there is to say. Um, and I always have people make up their minds for themselves. Like, okay, if this is the right e-bike or trike for you, then this is, you know, here's the link. Um, I'm going to do something different here. And, and I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to right off the bat say that this is, this trike has, um, it immediately completely impressed me and it continues to do so. Um, so yeah, uh, for starters, it says fully assembled. And when you typically receive an e-bike or a trike that says it's fully assembled, they don't really mean that it's fully assembled. What they mean is um, you have to put on the seat and the tire and the handlebar, and that is fully assembled. Well, this one, they were not kidding. It is fully assembled, meaning it comes on a pallet. You take off the box and you cut three... Uh, three zip ties and it's ready to ride. Literally ready to ride. You you take it off the pallet and go. Battery is already charged. It also says um, that the top mile per hour is 20 miles per hour. And all I can say is sure, Emojo, 20 miles an hour. Gotcha. Um, I got it up to 25.2, and that is just on a straight road, no backwind, no downhill, just standard 25.2. And one of the things that you notice right away, the second that you sit on it, not the second that you start riding it, the second that you sit on it, you can feel the suspension and the comfort and the lack of bumps that it's going to provide. Then when you start moving, it is like gliding on air. It is so smooth. I can't even tell you guys how comfortable of a ride this is. Now, typically, and I usually don't say this, but typically when I do an e-trike or bike review, I just give the specifics and I say, okay, if you're interested in this bike, you know, everybody's different. If you're interested in this trike, uh, here's the link below. I'm going to say something different here, and I'm going to say this is the trike that, if if you're interested in purchasing a trike, purchase this one. Uh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's, I'm saying it. Buy this one. This is the trike. Um, no joke. Um, I'm not exaggerating. This thing's awesome. So um, I say if you want a trike, go with this one. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the review. I don't usually do this. I usually film my videos a little bit different when it comes to e-bikes and trikes, but um, I'm gonna take you along on this just for a minute and show you, no, I can't, yeah, I can take you along, how it stops on a dime and it turns on a dime. This is the third trike that I've done a review on. Best trike ever, hold on. You'll just be able to hear it, just listen. Okay, out here on a runway. Okay, I'm gonna do a full stop. That was using one brake. I wasn't even using the rear brakes. Now I'm gonna show you a really quick turn. I'm gonna, this thing turns on a dime, it's crazy. So, okay. little space that takes up that's crazy the emojo bison pro e-trike has a dc brushless motor that is 750 watts and has a rated voltage of 48 volts 
While the maximum speed is listed at 20 miles per hour, I was able to get it up to 25 miles per hour and a little bit more. The battery range is 45 miles and it takes four to six hours to charge the lithium ion battery. The battery capacity is 48 volts, 23.2 amp hours, and the dimensions are 74 by 31 by 46 inches in height. The frame is made of aluminum alloy 66-1 and the maximum rider weight is 300 pounds. The Emojo Bison Pro weighs 123 pounds when you include the battery and it has a seven speed transmission. The front and rear brakes are both hydraulic disc types and the tires are 20 by four inches in size. The standover height is 15 inches, so if you have any issues with your back or your balance, this makes for a very low, very easy step over trike. The distance from seat to the ground is 27 to 36 inches. The handlebar height is 41 to 46 inches. The battery brand is XNW. Overall, the wheelbase is 50 inches and the chainstay is 28.5 inches. Now that we have gone over the technical specifications, let's take a ride and go over the features of the e-bike. Basically, the stuff that makes it fun and easy to ride. The Emojo Bison Pro has an integrated headlight, which will help you have clear visibility at night with the extra bright LED headlight that is seamlessly powered by the main battery, and it is controlled with the control module that is going to be at your fingertips. There is also a very bright rear brake light with integrated reflectors that boosts the nighttime and daytime safety of your ride. This ensures the visibility from behind at night and it signals to others when you are going to be braking or when you are slowing down. This is also powered by the main battery. The trike has a thumb style throttle, which is what I would personally recommend for a trike. That is not necessarily true with an e-bike. I prefer the twist throttle, but I have learned that it is much more efficient and much easier to use when you're using a trike. You can experience smooth and effortless power and use it as throttle only or as the pedal assist option. It has very ergonomic and comfortable hand grips to ensure that you are able to ride for a very long period of time without any hand fatigue. The Emojo Bison Pro has a digital LCD display which shows your speed, battery level, pedal assist level, and the odometer which is the miles that you have ridden on that day. It also allows you to control the lights anytime that you may need them. As for the differential, it guarantees that the trike turns very effectively and e-trike with a differential will accelerate turn and brake much more predictably and safety and I can personally attest that this makes for an extremely smooth ride.
When it comes to a Mojo, they offer plenty of accessories that you can add to your trike and they were kind enough to offer one as part of this product review. Um, I went ahead and chose the picnic bag, which is weather resistant and it's insulated and I can attest that it withheld being left out in the rain and wind for about three days and not a single drop got inside. They fit perfectly inside of the rear rack using Velcro, st Velcro strips to keep it in place. This will be great for future picnics and off-road trail riding at the river, but a picnic bag is not all that they offer. Emojo has a lot of really cool accessories um, like mirrors, metal cargo bikes, trikes, and covers to protect them from bad weather, helmets, t-shirts, cup holders, bags, and this is the only trike of its kind that offers a caddy back long bench. This means that you can replace the rear rack with with a sitting bench that has seat belts so you can take your kids on rides with the assistance of a large heightened rear seat. All right, everybody, I hope that this video has been useful to you. Um, as I stated in the beginning of this video, this is by far the best trike that I could have possibly asked for, and I can't foresee any other trike beating it, like ever. So, um, like I said, I've never said this before and I likely will never say it again, but if you are going to buy a trike, this is the one to buy. I'm telling you. I will go ahead and leave uh, the links down in the description box. Um, as always, be safe while riding and wear a helmet. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess, out.